This video will focus on giving a quick introduction to the Arinx664 protocol, also known as Avionics Full Duplex Switched Ethernet, or AFDX. AFDX was developed by Airbus, and it was further expanded by Boeing, who added EDE, which stands for Error Detection and Coding, to enhance the communication reliability. Arinx664 is built around commercial Ethernet, with provisions for deterministic behavior. For Arinx664, copper and fiber optic can be used. For the network architecture, there are three elements, end systems, switches, and links. An end system is a device whose applications access the network components to send or receive data from the network. A switch is a device which performs traffic policing and filtering, and then forwards packets towards the desired end system, such as seen in this diagram. End systems are able to exchange frames via virtual links. They define a unidirectional or logical connection from one source end system to one or more destination end systems. A 664 network can define up to 64,000 virtual links identified by a 16-bit identifier in the MAC destination field of Ethernet frame. Traffic shaping and policing combined offer the baseline for deterministic behavior of the network. Each virtual link may consist of up to four sub-virtual links. There is a round-robin scheduling for these sub-virtual links. The bandwidth allocation gap, otherwise known as BAG, is the minimum amount of time needed before another frame is sent. The end system controls the transmission for each virtual link in accordance to the BAG, and the switch verifies the BAG. Frames do not necessarily need to be transmitted exactly in multiples of the BAG, and frames on a VL can be transmitted slower than the BAG without having an impact on the switching. The frame for 664 is made up of the Ethernet header, IP header, UDP header, UDP payload, sequence number, and the frame check sequence. The sequence number and the frame check sequence are also known as the MAC footer. The Ethernet header contains the preamble, destination address, and source address. The virtual link ID is also encoded here. Next is the IP header, which contains the destination and system ID, and also has information about fragmentation if a large message is being sent and needs to be split into multiple frames. After the IP header is the UDP header, and this contains source and destination UDP port numbers. The UDP payload is up next, and this contains the actual message being sent between avionics systems. After this is the sequence number, which is used for integrity checking the message. Sequence numbers on successive frames must be in order. Finally is the frame check sequence, and this is analyzed to check for bit errors in the received frame. The Boeing EDE message format is based on the Airing 664 frame. With this EDE format, there is an additional layer of protection before and after the payload called the EDE layer. With this EDE, the format of the UDP payload changes slightly. First is the EDE sequence number, which identifies specifically with the UDP payload. Then there is an EDE timestamp, which is a clock reference from the source of when the frame was sent. After this is the actual payload. Following the payload is a CRCX and a CRCY layer, respectively. The CRCX is computed using the SID plus the EDE header plus the UDP payload. CRCY is computed on the same items plus the CRCX itself.